Okay, we're back. Next thing we want to do is create our firewall. So our first line of our script is right here. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. Next thing we want to do is now create a rule to allow traffic over port 80 and we want 3389. Everyone recall now 80. I think we all know what that does. That allows HTTP traffic and of course 3389 allows us to RDP or remote desktop to the scale set. All right, so well, let's do a NSG front end rule equal to new AZ network security rule config. Name, let's call it speed front end NSG rule protocol sure be nice to have IntelliSense you can see the message down here ours is timing out which is a drag time that again Protocol TCP direction inbounds source address. Prefix, we'll do everything. There we go. <laughs> Just takes a while. Source port range, we'll say everything. Destination address prefix, everything. And then destination port range, we want 80 and 3389. And of course, access, we want to allow. So let's take a look at our line. It looks like we've got a typo here. inbound all right so let's look at our rule we got the uh, variable defining our name which is good protocol excellent direction uh, we need to give this a priority let's put out a vial in here priority I'll give it a uh, 200. Let's go check our line again. Protocol, direction, we got priority now. Source, address, prefix. Source port range. Uh, we got this twice. Destination port range. I uh, see our, our problem here. We got a port range, but no address prefix, destination wise. All right, now I think we're ready. All right, so let's run this line. Uh, 
source address prefix. Is that spelled right? That's it's a drive, I don't have a telesense. Yep, little spelling problem. All right, so now let's create a network security group and associate A S S O C I A T E it with the rule that we just made. Yeah, first it was funny. You actually had to work. Words in a way. It's uh, NSG front end equals new AZ network security group. Resource group name. Speed. Uh, nope, it's uh, RG name and our location. East US name here. We'll call it. Speed, front, and NSG, network security group. And of course, security rules, we're going to call it what we got right here. So we should be able to find that right there. How about that? I think I like it. Do a run there. Looking pretty good. All right. Now we need. All right, let's see what we have uh, by looking at our portal. And if you look, we have a a uh, network security group. I'm gonna go back, and you see we have our rule in the network security group. Those are two PowerShell scripts. You might wonder why. What is this here for? Well, that's just a warning telling us when we look at our rule. Remember, we allow thirty-three eighty-nine. And uh, ideally, you don't want to expose 3389 to the internet. So, uh, that's the reason for that. Uh, if we look at our subnets for our rule, you're going to, for our group, I should say, there are no subnets are uh, being associated with it. So, that's what we need to do next. So, that's the next power show. Okay, so let's see, we got to associate a subnet to NSG. Okay, so on the store, we gotta go get the VNet, that's the subnet associated with. Get a Z virtual network resource group name. Uh, what are we calling that? 
Max RG name. And then name. Must be called Speed VNet. Using a verbal for that. Let's try to take assistance. Yeah, dollar sign VNet name. There we go. And dollar sign. Let's go get our front end subnet. It's equal to dollar sign VNet dot subnets a little zero here whoops need a little bracket there we go let's run these two Dollar sign front and subnet config is equal to set a virtual network subnet config. Virtual network is our dollar sign VNet. Name is probably. Do we have one? We have a variable called subnet. Do, 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 do. Subnet name. Address prefix. Dollar sign front end subnet dot address prefix and then we got our network security group what we made earlier and that is NSG front end. There we go. Go ahead and run these two. No problems there. All right, now we just have to associate set az virtual. It. AZ virtual network to virtual network dollar sign VNet. Now, if we go check our subnets, we should now have associated. Of course, portal way would have clicked on here and filled in information. We use PowerShell, and uh, next lab we'll be doing this all through the portal. All right, moving well, moving along pretty well. Okay, we're going to try my test, that test now. That failed before because the firewalls wasn't there. And there we go. You can see we went from zero to one. So we're working.